good afternoon from London, England. Now, I am just messing. We are still in Chisinau, Moldova. We actually checked into the London boutique hotel because we had to extend in this city there it's just so much to see and so much to do but i love it here look all the telephone boxes it has this really lovely outdoor area um which we'll show you around a little bit more later but today we are we're having a bit of a chilled day i think we've obviously moved to the new hotel but we've got some other things that we've missed so far in the city that we still want to see um but i have to show you this around the corner this is so cool we'll show you the room later um but the best telephone box and everyone is there people still there no. people have gone so people were just look at this there's an actual telephone <laughs> box I've, i think they actually got it from london itself sent over everyone comes here for a photo no telephone but it is a red box and it is the photo spot <laughs> it is it literally we would just come out of the hotel and there was like six people queued up to get oh, a photo with it's the, so cool we would never get one but who whenever you go, see one somewhere else. Who needs to go to London? When you have. You're in Chisinau. <laughs> forgot that because Moldova wasn't in the EU we were not able to use our phone packages from the UK uh, in Moldova so we had to go and get a sim and we popped into the orange store here and picked up a sim card for something like 29 lei which is equivalent to one English pound and you get 10 gigabytes of data and 500 minutes I mean that is just crazy affordable in comparison to other countries nearby um, um, the package was just unbelievable and I think that just speaks for itself this country is super affordable um, to travel and to get your basic things like your sim card for when you arrive in the country We have literally been recommended this place behind me so many times. So this is Andy's. We've walked past it everywhere. There's like, there must be like 20 different locations On the it. same street. And it looks really nice. It's like a modern Moldovan pizza restaurant. So I'm gonna call it a Moldovan pizza. Um, I'm hoping this one is, it doesn't even matter. If this one's full, there's probably 20 on the main boulevard. Now we're up to the second Andy's. The first one was like way too busy. This one is really busy as well. We just about got a seat. And again, we are on the main boulevard here in Chisinau so we can people watch, which is great. We got our Chisinau beers and this place was actually founded in 1999. It become like a leader of the market, which is why I presume there's like 10 to 20 different, <laughs> different locations across the capital city. And it's again, really affordable. Pizzas seem to be around three to four pounds. I think we're gonna have to get a pizza because that is what it specializes in. And the beers, again, for a pint was one English pound That's so what's that standard, it seems you. standard we've been to fancy restaurants local restaurants traditional restaurants and like chains like this and you, you think a beer is about a pound these are way bigger than expected and they look so so good oh my god I don't even know do you eat with your hands what's the etiquette who knows yeah do what you want Good. They're, they're huge slices. Look at that. Look at that slice. So it's margarita. Margarita and chili. Oh my god, they're really spicy. That's a good wood fired pizza. We definitely didn't need two of them pizzas. They were huge. That pepperoni with olives and mushrooms. Outstanding. Had like the right amount of cheese, the right amount of olives, and too much pepperoni which is perfect and all of that so two beers two large pizzas came to about let's say 230 Moldovan so less than 10 English pounds the prices really are really are insane out here I'm still full but we always whenever we come into a new country or a new city we absolutely always get a magnet and normally some souvenirs like postcards or things like that um, so what better place in the central market it's in the huge. central market yeah this it actually is pops up massive. as one of the main things to see in Chisinau which is quite exciting obviously we don't need to buy any fresh fruit fresh vegetables anything like that we'll obviously still have a look but we are looking for souvenirs, souvenirs. can magnets. you believe though how many people are, I suppose it's a Sunday it's Sunday best packed. day to come 
Oh my God, I did not expect, oh, God, me eye, the central market to be this big. You come in, you've got all your fruit and veg and everything like that, but you can find everything here. There's a section behind that has all your uh, your real Adidas and your real Gucci, but obviously you're not gonna film there. People get a little bit, a little bit upset, but it is huge. You can literally get anything you want in it. We still haven't yet located the magnets because we've been too busy walking through finding everything you could ever wish it's for. It seems it's like basically a household in, market, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything for your household, your real Adidas. Yeah, your real clothing, but just no magnets yet. Where are the KitchenAid magnets? It would be perfect if you were staying in an apartment. Yeah, if you were staying in an apartment, you can come here and get everything. I haven't looked at the prices of the food and veg, but I think the household stuff is much cheaper than your average supermarket prices. Finally made Thank you purchase. very much. Finally. I'm so pleased. Look at how cute they are. We have struggled with markets because we don't have much room in our case and I've struggled with socks. We have actually only bought a few pairs of socks and they're just really uncomfortable. So pink ones with daisies but only 10 legs. So like That's, 40p. Yeah, I'm pleased. For a small city, that market was huge. I mean, probably one of the biggest markets I've been to in Europe. Obviously, I know there's bigger, but for a small capital city, it was good, but it's so hard to film. Markets are incredibly hard to film. Everyone's like, what are you doing with that camera? Um, so we only ended up with the socks, but socks is enough. But we've actually headed back closer towards our accommodation. This area is lovely. You're not on the main pedestrian street, the main high street. You've got all these big overhanging trees and we're actually heading to a park called Valia Moralor. It's apparently the place to walk as the day gets a bit later. It's heading towards sunset now. There's a little lake you can walk around. Hopefully there's a couple of bars. I'm not too sure. Bars, cafes, somewhere we can sit down and get a drink. But this area is so nice. Who says Chisinau is not beautiful? This is nice. There's too many steps for my liking though. Can you believe how many steps there are to get down? And I'm assuming we're gonna have to take all of these to get back, back up. But the lake is really nice. The, it's just an unbelievable scenery. I did not expect this to do. In the middle of Completely the city. Completely different from the rest of the city. It's so green, it's and lush. It, it's just really like mountainous as well from up here. Now this, this is really, really unexpected. I kind of expected a small, small lake little park but this is really beautiful it's really huge. peaceful it seems like everybody from Kishnau is out Sunday walk. The park, it is, Sunday it is walks. time for the Sunday walk they got the pedalos out they take. have I don't know where you get them from you know what it's, it's massively missing people uh, are gonna probably say yeah. there is one but actually around the lake it doesn't seem like there's a restaurant or anyone to sit down to have there a drink there's only a coffee shop and at the very top on the main road there was somewhere but there's nowhere imagine sitting here watching the sunset watching the sunset with even a beer or a little bit of a snack. See, sometimes the best things in life free just having a walk in the park around the lake I really want to go on the pedalos but I can't figure out where you get them out from and also if you walk all the way to the other side which I can't be bothered to do you can go to Moldova's only beach they actually have a man-made beach on the lake but I don't think you can actually swim in here um, and the lack of restaurants is a little bit annoying I must say but I'm gonna walk back to the top now because we saw a little bar restaurant that sort of well it doesn't it sort of overlooks the uh, the park but you can't see a view of the lake change of plan that one was actually closed when we got up to the top it was just all completely closed and empty so we ended up getting a taxi back towards our hotel and um, taxis are actually really reasonable they're a set price sort of around the city and you use the app called yandex taxi and it was about one pound 60 for the journey of a mile which i think is pretty reasonable considering the fact that you have to order it on the app um, but we got the taxi to draft which is a really lovely outside inside bar i would say i'm kind of standing on a on a beer barrel right now and i have my kishanel which is again the same price of 25 lei which is one pound so all in all it's been a pretty good day today good taxis good beer good food and a long walk around the park after a quick 15 minute walk back 
to our hotel here at the London Boutique Hotel. I think it's only fair. It's time to show I you. I give you a room tour. Yeah, I'm actually out of breath from walking. How bad is that? But That's really bad. for around 30 odd pounds a night, you can get this gorgeous hotel. It's really, really nice. And we have a huge double room here. You can get apartments cheaper, but we prefer to stay in hotels sometimes depending on where we are and also who it works better for us. When we're out trying to make videos, an apartment just doesn't work for us. Especially when we're eating out all the time as well. So this makes the most sense. But we have a lovely double bed. I'm definitely going to be taking up most of this bed. Gorgeous headboard. We have obviously our aircon. I love the decor in here. It's really like traditional. Smart TV. The smart TV. Oh my God, this is like oh. a must. So we can watch our YouTube and Netflix on it. We have a super modern bathroom that is huge, huge shower. And you know what I really like is the windows all around. I've shut some of the curtains, but you the can windows- You see the main boulevard from you here. You can open all of the windows or even just have the curtains open and it'd be really airy during the day. Obviously it's dark at the minute, so you can't see anything, but I do really like that. I don't know what they put in the Chisinau beer out here, but it makes me hungry after every single beer. So we're getting food delivered uh, and we use Glovo. I think it's called Glovo, which is actually really reasonable. It's one euro for delivery anywhere in the city. Um, we're getting McDonald's. We've eaten a lot of traditional food. It's McDonald's time tonight, but it's been a really good day. Valia Moralor, highly recommend it to walk around there at sunset, but it does need a restaurant or something on there. I can't believe there's not restaurants around the lake. It's I think that's something to come. I think they'll add that in time. The market, Molly got her cheap socks because her feet stink. And we also had food at Andy's. The prices honestly have blown me away. One pound beers, you get a full meal with both of you with drinks for like less than 10 euros. It is crazy. Taxis, one euro. Honestly, it probably is the cheapest country in Europe that I have ever been to. Um, but tomorrow we've got something really cool planned. We're doing a day trip um, out of Chisinau to one of the most beautiful places in the whole country. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> 